Coming to my favorite, absolute favorite painting of yours. Um, so when, uh, this is something I want to say before I even ask her uh, anything. Uh, I walked into her studio one of the days when we were planning to do some crazy music and painting. And I find this painting on like, next oh. to something, yeah, something else. And there was 50 other things in front of it. But my uh, eyes went straight to this figure. This is how I'm, I looked at it and then went there and then went to the rest and it looked like none of her other paintings but because she paints very differently and this looked like a very Indian themed painting and I was like what is Ganesha doing here because this <laughs> is like if you know the character of Ganesha has the elephant <laughs> trunk and we're exactly <laughs> done like this. And I said, but I don't think you were so much into Indian culture. What happened? Why did you make something? She's like, Ganesha, what is that? And yeah, so now you want to tell me how you got to this. Um, yes, and now the painting is called, Who is Ganesha? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually, it's an interesting one. I was experimenting with a new type of powdery paint mm -hmm. and this is not something that I've used after so basically one painting that I've done using this paint right um, and uh, I never knew what it was I basically used the paint and as it dried mm -hmm. I traced right what was left right. so I, I didn't invent anything all of this sort of eyes they were there so after you finished drying the first layer, yes. this is what that's was left out? Yes, that's what I saw, mm -hmm. that's being left out. Right. So I called it, I didn't know what it was, so I called it a unicorn, even though there is no yeah. unicorn, but yeah. for me, yeah. that's yeah. kind of, um, that's what I found yeah. as a name. Although now we know where, where it comes it from. So and it didn't have writing, it's only because of you I finished it recently. Right. Right, and it looks, so uh, first of all, sh this is not her language, we can see yes. that. She's Sanskrit. written this in Sanskrit. She actually learned how to write Sanskrit letters and she asked me for the meaning and she went into deep research mode and finally she traced those letters and made, made it like this. But the thing is that when I first looked at it uh, from the point of view of Ganesha, uh, then I saw it wasn't just Ganesha, then I noticed this figure represents at least in my head and i think many of you will look at it this way this figure represents the most powerful uh, feminine energy that in indian culture we call her durga or uh, nandini or any of those names but she's worshipped as the ultimate power feminine feminine power and then i noticed this which looks like yeah maybe some it should be a line, but it looks like a wall. Yeah. But I've look how much yellow it has. Maybe yeah. it is allowed. Oh, line. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> and then it felt like this um, Ma Durga is like on her journey to destroy the evil um, uh, power of Mahishasur. Uh, and Ganesha is protecting her. This could be either her lion, which is 
uh, always that's the animal she has with her or it could be Nandi the bull which protects her on behalf of her husband Shiva so this is Aigiri Nandini the mantra that I told I felt that this is I told her that I felt that this is the mantra that this painting kind of represents and probably even though she didn't plan it or know it but it traveled through her body through her hands onto this canvas for a reason and uh, it she's made this one year back yes or, in yes yeah, literally almost, almost in august and then and, and then it was lying and around and she didn't know what it was because yes. it i think you asked yourself why you made such a different Yes, I was asking what it is, but I kind of thought, okay, this is the first time when you s use something, different color, a different thing comes out, yeah, and yeah. what came out is that, yeah. and I was able to finish it yeah, a few days yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's literally, and it's fresh I just out of the oven. showed her some Google images of artwork done on Ganesha and Durga and Nandi and this and that, and uh, she said, oh yeah, it does look, because I wanted to show that I... I wasn't just imagining it, it actually is what it is and that's when she completed this with the beautiful golden Sanskrit letters um, and also I see a lot of movement in this picture, I mean in this painting, I always see movement in her paintings but this one is like a powerful whirlwind, again I know you won't be able to tell me how you did that because yes. It came Something to else did that. But maybe because the color was dissolving like that or... Mm. Yeah, we can see these parts mm -hmm. all like... She's appearing from the ashes, going into the skies and destroying evils and that's... Yeah, that's the most beautiful, my most favorite painting of you guys. Thanks. Wow, what is this called? It's called Transformation. I think... We should just let everyone know what you were thinking of when you created Aye, this well, crazy, beautiful universe of uh, As in most of my paintings, I was not thinking. Right. I, um, it was a ripped off piece of paper mm -hmm. that someone left mm -hmm. and that's why it's kind of uneven. I mm -hmm. don't know where exactly it came from. Mm -hmm. And I was painting it um, standing, mm -hmm. looking at it down on mm -hmm. the floor. Mm -hmm. And it was at the time of my life when I had lots of things happening mm -hmm. which were quite negative but through I painted over one year mm -hmm. and it was literally the figure was very black mm -hmm. and it wasn't black and white okay it was very different to what it is now right. so it was a journey of my transformation ah. which started from a very very uh, sort of black um, space mm -hmm. and black figure and uh, then over time as my life was changing it found itself to be that mm -hmm. but if you if you probably if I show you what it looked like before it could be quite scary mm -hmm. if you scan through the layers you would mm -hmm. see that this figure is nothing like when it was starting and so this is I you was transforming. A, yes exactly and I didn't know what I was what the res end result would be because mm -hmm. I sort of painted it over a year right so mm, it for me it was very much a surprise every time I would start working on it right every time it was something new and you would add add and eventually it was complete but even now I sometimes feel like adding bits to it I don't know, tiny details. Because you're probably still transforming yourself. Yes, but exactly. I think the drastic shift already happened. And yes, correct. I might sometimes add little details of flowers, yes. but these are minor things, I guess. Yeah. It transformed in a, from its original shape. Right. At so some point, yes. You probably transform from that black, dark, mm. whatever woman yes. or reality into this really, really pretty and beautiful <laughs> person, which you actually are, even physically. Yes. But I think this also, um, knowing you as a person, this reflects the beauty of your soul and the kind of person you are. And uh, the, since I know you, I can say this very, very strongly that you are the kind of person who's always like connected to nature connected to the process of creation connected to the ability we all have to give others uh, some pieces of ourselves and i can see you oozing out 
beautiful natural elements from your own self and gifting it to everybody this is how i look at it it's it's a beautiful way yes mm. but all souls are beautiful it's the shells our shells <laughs> yes <laughs> it, it, they can look or appear something else yes but i guess mm, if i were to um, paint mm. i would like to paint the essence as opposed to a shell mm -hmm. and essence is always beautiful absolutely no matter what it absolutely is. and that's what has come out so any um points on these these are very attractive to me because of the fluorescent mm -hmm. or whatever color thing I see in all of them the pink one, the blue one, this one, or these. Is this a different kind of paint or? Um, it's, it's all acrylics. Right. Um, they keep so the green uh, here. It this makes it like become alive. I, I think the combination of red and green <laughs> is quite yeah. powerful. Yes. But um, I find that flowers mm. and this uh, sort of an opening and uh, opening and uh, unopening, how mm. to say it, blooming. Blooming and closing. Blooming, yes. Uh, flower is like a transformation. Right. And uh, when, it's, when you see it open here, mm. it's almost the finale when it's open to share the beauty. Exactly. Um, I, I wish I could. Um, I used to have the um, pictures. I probably still do of what it was before. So right. it's quite uh, dramatic when it was um, in its original initial state. Obviously, we need um, to see that yes, because yes, then yes. we can mm -hmm. see the actual transformation. Correct. Yes. Um, yeah. It's uh, every time you go through a sad state, depression, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. you know, uh, hardships. Yeah. It. Um, I cannot ignore it. I always put it on a creative, um, mm -hmm. sort of, I put it on a painting. Mm -hmm. I know that I can repaint the sad state into something else later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I've learned th that you heal together with your art. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And potentially it can heal someone else when they look well. at it. You know, yeah. I believe that because it's energy, it's yeah. sort of transformed energy. Um, then the colors that can all only make you happy, I suppose. Yes, I yes, yes. Um, th that's this particular one is a very healing. Yes. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Even if you hadn't mentioned any <laughs> of, even if you hadn't mentioned the name, it would heal people just by looking at it. Um, so yeah. So you heal yourself. Yes. Through your art in the process of making all of this. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. For appreciating. <laughs> so, what is this painting called? On the verge of, on the edge of consciousness. On the edge of, of consciousness. consciousness. Um, and maybe the first thing that comes to my mind when I see this is a lot of flying creatures and a lot of ecstatic, happy colors. Um, why do you see so much flight? Of hmm. And that is the one of the flights that I experience. Mm -hmm. I guess that is the energy that is here. Mm -hmm. That whatever I see and experience in my dream state, mm -hmm. conscious dream state, mm -hmm. that is here. Mm -hmm. um, it sort of I exaggerated some bits. Some mm -hmm. bits I didn't. Mm -hmm. But in a I guess in a two D way, that is the best that I could catch. Come up with oh, yes. Mm -hmm of something so it's all moving it's all of different kind and there's lots to it mm -hmm. um, this black shape that you've traced is this a figure of a person a head or it's a it's a channel or or tree it it's actually well it um it's a continuation of a head Mm -hmm. And this is a matter of the head. It's sort of something above mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. you contain. Right. Um, right. A little bit of your soul <laughs> that you can see. Right, you right. Can, right. You know, right. if you could see your spirit this hanging is above you, it would be like that. Right, yes. right. Manifestation. And the pink ball with the white dots is probably the, the epicenter it's, of it. No, it, it might be. I no, no, you can say epicenter can be anything. Maybe this little butterfly here. Oh, okay, okay, so, okay. But there is, right. um, yes. Right, but there's a lot of flight. And what is the background? Black? It's also ash. 
It's the oh, okay. Mm-hmm. okay, okay, okay. So is it representing the the air, or you said there was an air where you went, but liquid or some other matter that was. It's basically bits in different realities that I have seen mm-hmm. put into one. One, okay. Yes. Uh, so it has a little bit of earth as well, like this right. uh, fish. Yeah. Um, but also some of the things that I've seen um, in the other spaces. Right, right. and also other creatures. Yes. Wow, this is beautiful. This is so inspiring for anyone to make that flight uh, towards the edge of their consciousness and maybe outside. (laughs) So thank you so much for this edge of the consciousness. So this you just uh, posted on Instagram, the creator mm-hmm. of the worlds, right? So what, what made you make such a thing? I don't know what made me make. This, is, this was actually posted mm-hmm. with animated mouse. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll tell you about the process and mm-hmm. it happens often mm-hmm. in some pieces of work that I mm-hmm. do. Not every time, mm-hmm. but this is one of those. So the first layer was um, done by meditative ash painting mm-hmm. when just with fire mm-hmm. you put the first mm-hmm. light and then what was left mm-hmm. I look through and you see mm-hmm. it's there mm-hmm. it's the images that kind of already drawn for you mm. in the first meditative state that you were not consciously thinking that that's right. where I would put the trace that's right. where I would put the mark so you put all the marks and then you just you can see some of the pencil yeah yeah these are not made um, consciously with my mind mm. it i actually traced what was there Left seen. Up, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah so lots of things are actually one can say not even of my hand mm-hmm. <laughs> so um it is about i always uh, look at my painting and i think what it is mm-hmm. you know i guess in my strange way I find it as a way any world is created with a breath Mm -hmm. yes we you know the first thing we do is Mm. when we're born is breathing we breathe Mm. yes so that is the manifestation of for me spirit Mm -hmm. of that before the form takes place that essence is there Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so a little bit of that essence I guess is happening here Mm-hmm. So something um, traces, traced through that is mm, invisible, spiritual, or mm-hmm. uh, whatever you can put mm-hmm. into a form, um, sort of a formation of mm-hmm. matter. Mm-hmm. Um, I saw it. I saw it like this mm-hmm. and through yeah, the yes. breath. It's yes. created through mm-hmm. the breath, and. Um, any specific reason why you kept one eye open and one eye shut? Um, that's this. And mm-hmm. um, I used to do it since childhood. Mm-hmm. And for me, one eye is always looking in. Mm-hmm. One is outside mm-hmm. and the second one, it's not sleeping. No, mm-hmm. it's looking inside yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's a kind of balance, a wink mm-hmm. that is in the moment. You see yourself and you see outside. Right. Right. And um, although this is probably a spiritual being, uh, a godly kind of essence, mm. it doesn't need to do that, but that yet it does. Yes, 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 absolutely. Beautiful. Anything else that you want to speak about the colors or the, the anything else which you think people need to know? I don't know. I don't actually uh, want people to know anything. It's uh, if it's you there. want to know. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I, I want I to ask you about yes. the green leaves. Mm-hmm. Um, Where are they going? <laughs> Is it just flowing with the breath? Um, yes, they are. It's sort of essences of color that is about to um, be put into this whatever black matter. Right. Um, that it just soon to become colorful. Right. With a lot of has a little bit of. Um, pink and green, a little bit of red lines yes. here, but not uh, much. I, I actually cannot even explain it mm-hmm. uh, bit by bit, because when I do it, I don't think that's what think. I'm going to do. Yeah. I'm just trying to guess now that's what I've done. 
Probably that's what it says. <laughs> yes. yes. But amazing. We love this piece. I'm just guessing with you together. You know, yes, what yes, can yes, I... yes. Uh, yes, amazing. Thank you for the creator of the worlds. So what is this one called? It, you know, I thought of many names. It used mm. to have many names, but mm -hmm. the, the latest one, mm -hmm. the latest version is um, the only way out is in. Ah, wow, wow. Uh, that statement itself needs to be framed and uh, <laughs> maybe put as a painting beside this. <laughs> Uh, so, and also what is this writing in the middle of the... Oh, it's the Russian word dusha, which means soul. Mm -hmm. Okay. But why is this head in the middle, like hanging in the middle of... You know, this head, it actually repeated pattern. It, it You might find in a few of my paintings. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen this. Um, yes. <laughs> decapitation. Yeah. But it's the kind of spiritual um, decapitation of the body. Mm -hmm. It's not to say physically, physically. it's about the mind, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the mind being somewhere else, mm -hmm. uh, the mind and once the mind out you can have a different kind of uh, experience and right. vision on life or even on yourself. Right, right. So in that case it appears to be that you might find an animal traits in mm -hmm. yourself, right. maybe, right. and then something inside there's something else mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so for all we know it can be a chicken underneath right right or a fish it's like you peel yourself <laughs> so know what it's in what is inside yes but you always have to i guess question who you are right and you cannot quite question it with your mind right and so you can question what you want you can pose a question but the answers are beyond your sort of Mm. mind answering to it, That's right. something else uh, that you will answer who you are. You probably won't get to the truth with the mind. Yes, exactly. Um, but uh, you've definitely got to some level of human truth here by making this and also giving it that name, the only way out is in. Uh, so what is the out? What part of this represents the, within quote, out? Well, I guess it would be the head is out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The main, yeah. the mind is out. Out, right? But, uh, in a simple way, if yeah, you can, yeah, yeah. Kind of I think that literally layer it right. on what it is. Mm, so that would be it. Yeah. Right. So wonderful. Thank you so much yes. for the only way out is in. Yes. Wow, I love that. <laughs> Wow, so much of red and green and flowers and then also the head where it's not supposed to probably be. <laughs> so what is this one called? Um, it's called Meditation on Life and Death. Mm -hmm. And it was done in 2014. Mm -hmm. um, I used to have a different signature back then. Okay. So it's one of the first decapitated mm -hmm. paintings that I've mm -hmm. done. And it was at the time when I was discovery and uh, meditation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, although might look very dramatic with decapitated head, mm -hmm. is um, um, meant to represent peace. Right. Uh, an internal kind of peace. Right. When you cradle your mind right. as a baby, right, y you know, in your hands, right, you put it yes into this peaceful bliss, State. but it's not there. Yes. yes, so that's why it's kind of a baby, and you, as a motherly sort of gesture of mm. hands being around your head, mm. um, and then I guess the greenery and red, it's sort of the beautiful world that can be exposed to you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when your mind is put to be in a quiet space. In a peaceful space. So and also yes. the white makes the red and the green mm. so exciting. It's probably the color of peace or... You, know, you can say that, yes. It's the um, neutral color of giving to yourself. I mean, mm. I, in some cultures white uh, color means, you know, saints, 
wear it mm -hmm. or you wear it for different mm -hmm. occasions and if you could do in funeral mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So it's another state. Mm -hmm. It's a special state. Mm -hmm. I mean, the wedding yeah, <laughs> it can yeah, be yeah. many, whatever you put it, it is a very special color, mm -hmm. just actually as uh, red as and it, um, yeah. So I've chosen white one. It's brilliant. And is that thing on the, the part where there's supposed to be a heart or a mm. chest, what chest. is that thing? Is that a window? Um, is that I guess a a, this is, it can be a window, but it can be looked at some kind of window, a prison cell window. Mm -hmm. so exactly, that's what I meant to yes. get to. It yeah. looks like it. So mm -hmm. it's the kind of opening um, that happens. Mm -hmm. to all of us, right. of something might come out and you feel more alive by a little bit of a bleed, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I can see that. It's Your paintings are like, really, like layers and layers of truth hiding one truth another uh, behind another. So, um, uh, thank you. This is, what was it called again? Sorry, meditation, meditation on life on, and death. Meditation on life and death. Wow. Great. Thank you. Oh, this is like definitely in my eyes you traveling through space through endless realities with that black nothingness with all this so am i right or wrong <laughs> you're right it's uh, some matter that is in a dark matter of cosmic mm -hmm. space mm -hmm. I mean, basically um all the things that we don't see, mm -hmm. if you were to put them under the microscope, maybe you will see. Mm -hmm. So some of them I saw and they were much bigger mm -hmm. um, and some were much smaller, but here they all kind of in a way balanced, mm -hmm. although this can be mm -hmm. kilometers mm -hmm. big mm -hmm. and this can be tiny, 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 tiny. Mm -hmm. So, so subatomic kind of, and yes. macro, so basically micro, macro mm -hmm. in one space. So does, uh, you made this with some sort of glossy? I just uh, covered it um, late after finished, after I finished it with a gloss. Is there a reason why you did that? <laughs> Um, experiment <laughs> how it would look glossy and to make it difficult to take a picture of. Right. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, there's these textures on the thing. Uh, I don't know if the camera can capture that, but I see a lot of texture which is not plain. Yes. Is it because it, uh, some of my art um, I recycle. Mm -hmm. I paint over and over on different layers. So some of the things that you see we used to be something else before. Oh, okay. And uh, does, in your experience, does light pass through this substance of black? Um, I don't understand the question. So, like the, the fact that all these creatures or things, you mm -hmm. can see them, it mm -hmm. means that light can pass through the blackness of things. This is, I'm asking it, you in terms mm -hmm. of experience, not so much about the painting, but inspired by the painting. It's the matter of um, being able to see. It ah. actually has nothing to do with light. Light. Ah, um, you know, right. When you're outside body, even when you're outside of your own body, mm -hmm. what happens is that you instantly mm -hmm. become one of those. You right. are, you're nowhere, and you're everywhere. Right. And you see with a completely different eye. eye. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you don't have eyes that you have, but right. you become everything, and then if you can put your attention to something, you'll be able to see it. It's really focused. Can, yes. Oh, magnified, like you mm -hmm. said. Mm -hmm. mm. Wonderful. And is that you on top, like gliding <laughs> the yellow <laughs> female looking creature? Or am I imagining it too? It looks like a spaceship to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something is definitely swimming. It's, it's a rocket. Through. Yeah, I see so many things. Actually, we should leave it to yes. the audience Who, whoever, to decide the what they... We shouldn't speak so much and definitely I should keep quiet because I see <laughs> like 50,000 things in this. But uh, what is it called? Uh, it doesn't have any name. Is it? Okay, so maybe we can invite uh, our viewers to come Give up with a name. name. Yes, please go ahead. So what what is this? I cannot understand anything. <laughs> or maybe I should 
like go centimeter square at a time and because every bit has a story to tell so many stories what is this i guess it's life <laughs> illustrated life um i find it um funny uh, because of all of the different characters mm -hmm. um here are a little bit funny mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, this was done because as I told you before, sometimes I recycle my old paintings. Mm -hmm. If I don't like mm -hmm. them for some reason, I scrape off the mm -hmm. layer and start again. Mm -hmm. So you can see what, what's underneath. It was scraped off a, a different paint mm -hmm. that I didn't like. Mm -hmm. And uh, I started painting a new one and a new one. So maybe it's painting number four. Okay. <laughs> so at some point when I wouldn't like it, no one buys it. I scrape it off right. and paint something right. else. Right. Right. Um, so it it is more of um, animated right. um, joy illustration. Right. Uh, it was um, done in October when I met my current partner. Right. And as I sometimes paint mm -hmm. my partners mm -hmm. and lovers. Right. <laughs> so was this a dedication to him? Um, no, it wasn't. It was just. Um, Oh, he would find it scary for the <laughs> to him with all those characters. <laughs> no, it's just, you know how sometimes people in the midst of this chaos and right, life, right. they can find each other. Right. It's like amongst the most, in the circumstances that are not inviting right. or in the, at the time of your life mm -hmm. when it's completely unexpected right. that you would meet someone uh, and that's how it was with him and I. And that it seemed like in the madness of this world you and still found each other y yes and that's how it sort of looks like a mess of everything so in my opinion i see two things which are very important to you one is your partner and one is your cat <laughs> <laughs> yes. it's interesting that you painted yes in this reincarnation he is white <laughs> oh, okay. not ginger yeah 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 right right and uh, 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 uh uh, probably all of this if I if I think of it as a film I could even like if I was a director I would turn this into a film and do animations and it's like, probably five or six episodes of you know <laughs> what this guy has to say and then what this guy has to say and then what this guy has to say uh, they all have things that, and do I see that as a chain or mm -hmm. is that yes. something else it's, it's trying to chain kind you to chain. reality yes something like that Right, but you are sitting very comfortably with your partner and you guys seem to be at peace. <laughs> yes. Yes, so this is lovely. I mean, this is what life is supposed to be. Beauty in chaos. You got to find your beauty. But what's it called? Is it, is it the name? No. Okay, so it's one of those again, untitled. Untitled, let's look for mm -hmm. a name. Mm -hmm. I'll give you my suggestions maybe tomorrow, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I just love this. It's amazing. Hack yourself. Why is it called hack yourself? Well, I don't know, but that's the formula. Um, I find a spiritual formula that mm -hmm. can be applied to humankind to alter the way of your fate mm -hmm. or the way of your life. Um, you have to decode yourself or to hack your own system. DNA, hack your own system, whatever you are, we're made out of different, um, you know, socially infused uh, structures from childhood. Right. We're told what to be, how to act, what is right, what is wrong. We go to school and someone tells us that's the truth. So, but reality might be further mm. from the... <laughs> What uh, you're told. True, yes, mm. and uh, to, to be closer to something uh, authentic or to find yourself, you actually have to sabotage and hack yourself. Mm. That is in a, meant in a positive way. Mm, mm, mm. And uh, to be able to love someone, you have to uncode mm -hmm. a lot of yourself. Yes. That's what I believe, to mm. be able to find love or the essence of yourself or the spirit of yours, you have to break your code mm. first mm. Um, and find that child and um, mm. that sort of mm. innocence to be able and to the beautiful you know yeah. 
as soon as you are able to do it. I mean, you have to do it all the time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> but the first thing to actually completely hack mm. through your codes. Mm-hmm, I, can, mm-hmm. I can see many different languages. Is that correct? Yes, I think it's the word love in different languages mm-hmm. that they've written. And then there's also a lot of mathematics happening there. Yes, numbers. Decoding and <laughs> yes, decoding. decoding and yeah, and uh, it's so beautiful that um, the hands, the figures, the eyes, the, the colors. I mean, you want to tell me something specific about what got you to paint this apart from the hack yourself? Or no, not really. Um, why this figure is it's not human, the second one on the left? It looked like uh, Toth. The Egyptian uh, the god. The mm-hmm. thing is that I like birds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> my mm, last course, name is Wings. <laughs> so my last name means Wings. So I always find somehow a bird present in my painting. Right. And now we see a human bird or a godly bird, a very right. famous one. Right. I don't know why sometimes things appear. Mm-hmm. Mm, okay, I can say that I stream conscious my own mm-hmm, art mm-hmm. Um, but that appears to be the way often mm-hmm. um, for some imagery to appear I mm-hmm. do not think of them that that's what I'm gonna paint now you don't plan it yeah? mm, n- no um, if I plan it if I could plan it I would probably be a minimalist <laughs> yeah because <laughs> you know, I appreciate minimalism but that is and also far from that you know? also probably you would not have to go into such detailed <laughs> yes. hard work on every little thing I mean your detailing is fabulous um, and any reason for the choice of the color yellow um, no but it looks good against black oh yeah it does <laughs> and it's yeah. very bright and positive and I sunny know. It is funny. Um, and what are they holding in the hands? I have no idea. <laughs> I, I wish. Um, I mean, this looks like it can be. What's it called? In the Chinese book of the. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. 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 Probably it looks like that. Also, there's an eye on the hand. I, I always have it, you know. Yes, yes. Um, I, I have it uh, since childhood, mm-hmm. because and I could put arguably eyes on any part of the body mm-hmm. because we are able to see the energetical, I guess, the energy system that we have. They are everywhere in, in our hands. You know, you can see the third eye sometimes, but I find it always often mm-hmm. that they place it in the hand. Right. But I can, I guess, place it anywhere. Right. You right. can see with through your everything. own. B- yes, you mm. can see through everything. Yes, wonderful. And this is called hack yourself, right? Um, no, this is what you just read here. Oh, I okay. don't know yeah. what it's called, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> but let's call it like that. Yeah, maybe. We should, yeah, love and hack yourself. Both are amazing. All right. Thank you. some kind of process of creation mm-hmm. and uh, yeah so it's like possibility or you know like the processes are up there and it's like pouring down actually creating the physical world well it's amazing that you were right how is it called it's called um, as above so below um, so whatever the physical manifestation here that you can see is manifesting through the channels with the upper world that you might not see but you can see that everything all the sort of structures above are connected with streams of energy to the structures here like little cities and something and um, yes the characters are also I don't know they can be creators I don't know who they are but um, they're quite big compared to the tiny cities Um, the figures are quite big 
So we're talking about real life measurements, <laughs> the volumes. If you can see a tiny building here, this is the creature. And uh, yes, it's a dialogue between something on the backdrop of the energy connecting uh, a space upside down and what appears to be down with up. So yes, you're right. You got it correct. <laughs> I guess it's one of the obvious paintings maybe, or you're just very, very sort of um, uh, seeing through here. It was one What's of your visions? Yes. Um, uh, some elements are from my uh, travels and dreams, conscious dreams, whatever journeys into the outside of the physical body spaces. Yes. Sometimes I make some things are more human than they are. I see uh, figures mm, a little bit different, but then when you come to this reality and you operate with this 2D objects and even 3D objects, you come to draw it in a very physical matter kind of way. And Although they're not quite like that when I see them. Was the sound of something dropping down or what's that actually? If you can hear it, it means that you really, really got it. Um, I wish I could paint the sound and I often um, paint listening to different kind of music. Um, I find it inspiring. But whatever sounds that you see here, although I've heard them, I cannot sing them. Though. These are the sounds that are beyond this physicality of this world. So, but yes, it can be universal music, space music that you see dripping down. <laughs> 